It's been about a month and it's that time again for a new system update. I got a warning today on Sunday afternoon for the 2022.20.6 and I had it install using the phone app. Let's see what's new. Alright, this update also includes 20.6.1, 20 20.5, 20 and 20. They're all basically the same. As usual, when you get in your car, you see the release notes for the update on the screen. There's only one item on the list. This may be different on your car due to its age, and I'll get to that soon. Tire Configuration Reset the learned tire settings directly after a tire rotation, swap, or replacement to improve your driving experience. To reset, tap controls, service, wheel and tire configuration. So let's go see what they changed. I just happened to rotate my tires last weekend, so this is good timing. Originally, there was just a wheels option on this page. Now there is a tires option. Press the drop down box and it asks you to select your tire season. The options are winter or all season or summer. I chose the second option since I have all season tires. Then I press the update button. All right, it's now updated. I wonder what it's doing with this option to optimize your drive as it says up near the top. Next up, we have a few undocumented updates. I'll go into the Bluetooth menu right now by tapping controls and on the upper part of the screen, press the Bluetooth icon. The Bluetooth menu has been updated to make it more obvious which device is connected and new device icons have been added. Previously, Tesla used to show a Bluetooth logo to the right of the device name. The logo would be blue if the device was connected or gray if it wasn't. The Bluetooth icon has been replaced with a device icon, presumably so that Tesla can support various types of devices in the future, such as Bluetooth headphones and Bluetooth controllers. If a device is connected, it will now display the text connected underneath the device name along with a green dot. I look forward to some more updates that are specific to Bluetooth in the future. The next update has to do with Homelink. With the introduction of V11, Tesla added Homelink controls that appear when you're geographically close to one or more of the Homelink devices. The buttons feature a label underneath them that up until this update displayed whether tapping the button would cancel the auto open feature or activate the Homelink device. With this update, Tesla has swapped these labels. The activate or cancel text will now appear inside of the button and the label given to the device, such as garage, will now appear underneath the button. Personally, I never use the auto open or close, since they do not work for my situation. I reverse into my garage, up my driveway, and the auto open or close never works, possibly due to the direction of the sensor. It's a little disappointing since it worked great at my previous house, where I pulled straight in to park. Notice that the labels come up and they are different than the previous software version. Here you can see I can press the cancel button so that it doesn't auto open. The next undocumented update is battery on arrival. Tesla's navigation system will once again display your estimated range upon arrival at your destination near your estimated time of arrival. Next, I'm going to discuss two items that you may get with this update that didn't show up in my car. Seat Belt System Enhancement. This enhancement builds upon your vehicle's superior crash protection based upon regulatory and industry standard crash testing by now using Tesla Vision to help offer some of the most cutting edge seat belt pretensioner performance in the event of a frontal crash. Your seat belts will now begin to tighten and protect properly restrained occupants earlier in a wider array of frontal crashes. I haven't experienced it yet 
and I'm not sure why it's not showing up as an update on my car. And lastly, we have a green traffic light chime. A chime will play when the traffic light you're waiting for turns green. If you're waiting behind other vehicles, the chime will play once the vehicle advances, unless traffic aware cruise control or auto steer is active. Note this chime is only designed as a notification. It is the driver's responsibility to observe their environment and make decisions accordingly. Supposedly, this feature no longer requires enhanced autopilot or full self-driving. The main reason I don't have this update is that my car is a 2018 Model 3 that has an autopilot 2.5 computer and doesn't support this feature. Well, in summary, not a whole lot of exciting things with this update. The Bluetooth changes look like they are laying down some groundwork for new Bluetooth features, which possibly could be wireless controllers or headphones, which is pretty cool. That's all for today. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Especially let me know if there are any of these features that you have on your car that I haven't listed or the ones that didn't work for me actually work for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.